Hello friends, this video on classification of elements part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. Let's take the S block elements. So elements with the last electron, the last electron interests S orbitals, those uh, elements are S block elements, right? And these are uh, my group 1 and group 2, that is alkali metals. These are my alkali metals and alkaline earth metals. They have the electronic configuration of the outermost elect, uh, uh, electron will be ns1 or ns2. They are s block elements. Right? So if you see for all these elements, if you see uh, my lithium, my outermost is an s, beryllium outermost is an s, sodium outermost s, magnesium outermost s. Potassium outermost S, calcium outermost S, right? The all my S block. So you want to recognize the electronic configuration also, for example, for sodium, it becomes 1s2, 2s2, sodium has the atomic number 11, 2s2, 3s6, 3s. So the outermost has electron in S subshell. Let's take calcium. It is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1, 3p6, 4s1. The outermost is S, so it is S1. Okay. And this is the order where we fill the subshell using above principle. 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, like this. 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 4s, 3s, 3p, 3d, 4s, like this. Correct? This is the correct way. And the properties are they are all reactive metals and they have very low ionization enthalpy. We'll discuss what is ionization enthalpy in the next few slides. Uh, their metallic character and reactivity increases as we go down the group. So if you go down, they become more reactive. And because of the high reactivity, they are not never found in pure states. They are never found in pure state. They generally, for example, sodium also, right? If we see sodium is generally found as NCL form. So generally they are not found in pure state. They are predominantly ionic because this guy, if you see, has a one in the outermost cell, it has one electron. This guy has outermost electron, two electrons, and they can easily give one and two electrons. So they are generally ionic because they don't believe in sharing of electrons, they generally give the electrons. And they are soft metals with low melting and boiling points. And most of these metals impart color to the flake. Also, they are very strong. Now, let's understand the p block elements. So in this elements in which the last electron enters p orbitals, p substances, p orbitals, you can say, they are p block elements, right? And they are group 13 to group 18 elements. And you can see that these are my p block elements. And please note, helium is also put in p block. But in case of helium, the last electrons move into s orbital but still helium is put p block it's exception actually why it is done because helium is helium property is similar to these uh, properties of the uh, noble gas and they are also part of p block elements right and these uh, s block and p block elements you combine they are nothing but them. they are the main group of elements because they are the elements which we deal with mostly and the outer uh, electronic configuration for these elements will be something like this ns2 np1 to ns2 n6 because p is the last one this is the electronic configuration of these elements right and this is the end one this 18 group if you see the whole group is my noble gas elements where my uh, uh, it is totally filled the p orbitals are totally filled Okay. 
So if you see this, these elements, for example, helium is exception. But apart from helium, if you see my boron, the last element goes to P block, carbon, P block, all these, the last element goes to P block. But all these elements also, if you see, the last one goes to P block. Correct, sorry, P orbital. The last electron goes to P orbital. So if you see the property of P block, P block has both metals and non-metals. So all these blue ones are the metals. Uh, these are the non-metals and these uh, orange ones are metalloids. So they have metals, non-metals and uh, metalloids, but the number of non-metals are higher. Right? Ionization energy is higher as compared to S block. We'll discuss ionization energy in your next few slides. And they generally form covalent bond that is by sharing electron, not by actual transfer of electrons. And some of these have more than one oxidation states. We'll understand more about the oxidation states when we discuss the next chapter where we discuss the actual uh, 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 how the compounds are formed using my sigma bond, pi bond, all this thing takes care and uh, happens and the, the, the electrons are shared and all this chemical uh, combinations which happens when two atoms combine. So we'll discuss all the things in the next chapter. And preceding this noble gas family, so we have two chemically important groups of known metals. They are called halogens and charcoals. They have a high electron gain enthalpy. We'll discuss electron gain enthalpy in the next few slides. And they readily add one or two electrons respectively. So halogens and charcoals, they can halogens can readily get one, and these guys can readily accept two electrons to attain noble gas configuration. If you see these guys outermost, they have uh, six electrons, this guy has uh, seven, and this guy has eight elect six electrons. Six. So these group can readily accept one electron to attain the noble gas, and these group readily accepts two electrons to attain the noble gas. Continue. But at the end of the day, all these elements want to be stable in life. They are just like humans. Everybody wants to be stable in life, decent job, maybe, and you no know, decent family. That's what you call stability. Here also, all these elements want to be stable. And that's why all these uh, elements combine, they, they react, and uh, the goal is to have the minimum energy and to get stability in life. So we'll discuss all these things when we discuss the next chapter, where, why elements combine, why atoms combine, and those like those kind of things. But just understand this here, that this group, notice that they have outermost seven electrons, they can readily accept one electron, and this group, since they have six electrons in the outermost shell, they can readily accept two electrons. And the non-metallic character increase as we go down, uh, move from left to right across the period. And the metallic character increase, this guy you see, non-metallic character increase. And if you go down, the metallic character increase. So we have learned these all things in the class 10, why, why it happens where the metallic character increase or decrease as we go down from left to right. We'll discuss all this thing again also in the logical way why this happens. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.